I'm John Hale from Mountain View, Arkansas. I'm a big supporter of the Second Amendment. Travis Anderson from Mono, Arkansas, and I support the Second Amendment. Freddie Davenport from Camden, Arkansas, and I support the Second Amendment. What's up, Ghost Squad? Trey here with Ghost Tactical. Just wanted to give a, an update of what happened yesterday in the Second Amendment Capitol Rally in Little Rock, Arkansas. Um, it was a great day. I had a great time. Met some awesome people. Uh, I think nationwide, the rallies went over really well. I know in some of the states, they had 100-plus people. That's unbelievable, uh, especially we only had 10 days or so to uh, promote this. It was kind of a last-minute thing to get together, so I was really, really happy how we had a turnout in Arkansas. Uh, we didn't have as much as we would like, but we did have a good turnout, so I was really happy about that. Uh, we did not have any opposition, which is a double-edged sword. I'm glad we didn't have opposition, but on the flip side, I kind of wish we would have because that would have given us a chance to educate some people in, uh, in, in gun rights and the Second Amendment and all of that stuff, so... Um, yeah, I wish we would have had a little bit there, the more discussion with the opposition, but it was still a great day. Uh, I want to give a couple shout-outs to uh, John and Terry. John and Terry drove at least two hours, maybe even more, uh, down to Little Rock, and uh, they were there from beginning to end, so the whole five hours. It was awesome. We got to know each other really well, had some great conversations and discussions over a whole slew of things. It was, it was a great day. I also want to give a couple shout-outs to a couple young, youngsters that were there. Uh, Travis was 24, and Freddie was 20. And they showed up, and they were there for a better part of three hours, which was awesome. Um, you know, what I really enjoyed about them is they're part of that younger millennial generation that kind of gets looked upon as the entitled generation, the lazy generation, the, the generation that doesn't care about anything. And um, these two young men were uh, amazing. They were engaged in the conversation. They were very much pro-gun and Second Amendment. Uh, but they were very knowledgeable on what's happening in the world as far as the gun rights and the, and the, and the gun community. They knew about the legislation. They were, uh, they were really willing and able to jump in and, and get involved in the conversation to bring more people their age to the conversation. Um, so I'm really looking forward to the next time we have a rally because I want to get these two young individuals involved in the planning process and all that because I think they can bring a whole new aspect to the rallies of that younger generation. Um, they were awesome. But, guys, I, I just wanted to, um, I wanted to say thank you once again to the Secretary of State's office. Uh, they provided us the, uh, the steps to the Capitol building, which was awesome. Uh, they provided us a podium and a microphone um, that was awesome. Thank you very much for that. They were, they've been over backwards to help us, especially at short notice. I know they usually require at least 30 days notice, and we gave them about a week, a little over a week, and they were very accommodating. So thank you to the Secretary of State's office. Uh, I want to thank the Capitol Police. They were great. Um, they helped you know, in every way they could. And uh, I want to give a special thank you to uh, Governor Asa Hutchinson and his staff. Uh, Governor Hutchinson was not able to make it. He was out of the country um, working on some economic development stuff for the state of Arkansas, trying to bring uh, more commerce and more businesses to the state of Arkansas. And he's doing his job. So he couldn't make it, but he did send a uh, prepared statement that was read, and uh, I really appreciate that. And if you weren't there and able to uh, to hear it, I, I think that I will probably, if you uh, let me real quick, I will read this statement from Governor Hutchinson. So any of you in Arkansas that that was um, not able to make it to the uh, rally and missed the the statement prepared by Governor Hutchinson, then we are going to um, read it right here. This is from Governor Asa Hutchinson. For Arkansans, the right to bear arms is one of the, our most cherished values and will always defend that right from those who wish to diminish it. It is a constitutional right that includes but is not limited to self-defense and it is also an important part of our sporting heritage. My record for support of the Second Amendment rights, including a consistent A-plus rating from the NRA, speaks for itself and I am proud of that fact. When the Second Amendment was under its greatest attack following the tragedy in Connecticut, 
I stood firm and defended the Second Amendment, spending months heading the NRA's National School Shield Initiative to find ways to better protect our schools and our children without further burdens on law-abiding citizens. Under my leadership as governor, Second Amendment rights in Arkansas have been strengthened. Arkansas, Arkansans are able to carry in more places than ever before, and I will continue to fight for your right to keep and bear arms, guaranteed to all of us by the U.S. Constitution and the Arkansas Constitution. So uh, that was the, uh, the statement from Governor Hutchinson, so I want to thank you once again, sir. Um, so overall, guys, it was a great day. The weather could have been a little bit better. It wasn't cold, but it was gray and kind of spitting rain every now and then, and very windy. But uh, it could have been a lot worse in November, so we were very lucky. I enjoyed my time. I enjoyed our conversations. Uh, we did have some people that were there just to uh, visit the Capitol that stopped by and asked what we were doing, and uh, was um, regardless if they were pro-gun or anti-gun, they seemed to, to appreciate the fact that we were out there and uh, supporting the Second Amendment. So I was very, very happy with the day because of uh, multiple things. One, to see the younger generation there. Two, to get, some, meet, get to meet some people that um, I'll, I call friends now, and, and I think that we'll have a long-lasting relationship. And they're awesome people that I know will help out uh, in the next rally. Uh, so... The biggest thing that I was really proud of, more than anything else, is we as Arkansans and as Americans exercise our rights to freedom of speech and to peacefully gather and to uh, support the Second Amendment. As Americans, it is uh, not just our right, but it is our duty to do so. So uh, I encourage everyone else, not just in Arkansas, but all over the country, that next time that we have one of these rallies to not only show up, but bring some friends with you. Um, after the tragic uh, shooting that happened in Texas yesterday at the church, um, I would be willing to assume that there will be more uh, people and bills and anti-gun rhetoric that it will be coming out in the next few weeks and months. So now is, is just as important as any other time for the Second Amendment to be vigilant, to be strong, and to keep fighting for our rights. Uh, the words shall not be infringed do mean something, and it's about time that we show the rest of the world and the rest of this country that we are serious when it comes to our gun rights. So once again, guys, thank you to everyone across the country that went to your rallies, and especially to the ones here in Arkansas that came to Little Rock and joined me for five hours it was an amazing experience, um, and I cannot wait for the next one. So until next time, guys, Simplify. Hey, guys, Ghost here. Just want to say thank you for watching this video and your continued support of the channel. Please check out our website, www.ghosttactical.us, to see all of our ventures, including Patreon. We also invite you to check out gunchannels.com. Once again, thank you for your support. Until next time, Simplify.